Arbor Arms dual adjust rifle slings have the ability to slide and to cam and over tighten. That way it's tight to the body. Now this is a carbine sling, but just like the carbine sling, the PRS light and the PRS heavy both have that same hardware. They also have the same uh, girth slash weapon length uh, adjustment triglide. So this is kind of a preset, you know it's hot or cold weather, so you're gonna add additional space if you have a jacket on or remove it if you're gonna be in a t-shirt. If you're gonna be adding body armor, you'll loosen it up. If you're going slick, you're gonna tighten it up. If you're on an SBR or a AR pistol, you're gonna have it tighter. If you're putting it on a long gun, it's gonna be looser. Uh, and so that's a preset, whereas this is your, your much faster on the fly weapon manipulation adjustment. Uh, PRSs have the exact same thing. Uh, they're actually mounted in the opposite direction, but same end state. What makes them different? What makes the PRS different is the anchor point and the ability to add triangulation to your shooting position. Now, we have the PRS light, which as you can see right here, has the one inch uh, female side release buckle. And our PRS heavy has a stainless steel snap shackle or pelican hook, whichever you would like to refer to it as. Um, both slings come with an arm cuff and a belt loop uh, for the PRS light. You can actually take these snap-on buckles, you can see that can be removed, and you can actually clip that directly into our big G and our little G liner belts. Uh, if you're gonna be using the PRS heavy, you need a soft loop. You could probably shove it through there. It's gonna be a little bit more work. This is probably gonna be a lot easier for you. Um, but these come with both uh, PRS sling variants. Um, a long time ago, I developed a sling very similar to this, had a huge following, a lot of people loved it. Uh, the one downside is you do have that metal uh, snap shackle on there, it starts flipping around, can kind of scratch up the surface. A lot of people didn't care because a lot of people had government guns. Um, but I like to keep pushing things forward and making them better. This is a PRS light. It's got the plastic side release buckle. It's a lot lighter. It's a lot less likely to scratch things up. Um, and honestly, the majority of uh, this gun's life, this is gonna be used basically as a carbine sling. And so it's light, it stays out of the way. And it's easy to use this as a carbine sling because as we saw, carbine slings basically the same thing, just minus our anchor points and all the accessories. Um, but what is this for? It's for triangulation. So you have that slider in the cam, so you have a lot of adjustability with this length. I loosen it up and now I can clip into my belt. Now, uh, one leg's going that way, the other's going that way, and we have the ground that creates triangulation. So I'm very stable this way. I had to bend my knees to make that much movement, otherwise I'm there. Uh, but this way, there's no triangulation, so I can wobble back and forth. Put those bipods down. I'm gonna keep this nice and loose so that's not part of the equation yet. And that definitely gives me some stability, but my hips are kind of wobbling around and I can kind of back and forth, side to side a little bit. Now I tighten this up and I throw my hips out. It's kind of making my pants look all mom genie. I swear they're not, whatever. Um, but you can see the sling has now become the hypotenuse or has created that triangulation. So my body, the rifle and that sling makes that nice right angle. Doesn't matter if it's a right angle, acute angle, obtuse angle. Isosceles, scaling, yeah, you remember all those terms? Well, uh, when you're a precision shooter, you need to be able to weaponize your math, weaponize engineering, and turning your body and your sling and your weapon into walking engineering, that's where you wanna be at. And that's another thing that's nice about this PRS light. You can buy additional snap-on buckles and you can throw them on your backpack, you can throw them all over the place. You can use a backpack as like a shooting pillow. Uh, so it's really up to your imagination how many ways you can actually use this as a support. So this is obviously clipped into my belt and it's giving me triangulation that way. I'm not a huge fan of cuff shooting, but it definitely has its time and its place. 
And anybody who's gone to boot camp, or at least Marine Corps boot camp, I don't know if I'm dating myself, um, remembering those nasty parade slings and the loop sling that they turn them into. But same thing, you're creating that triangulation and it's definitely securing things. Unlike the parade slings, we got that nice side release buckle, so I can just unclip and disconnect myself so I'm not tied in. If I'm taking rounds, I can unclip whether it's on my belt or my backpack or my arm. I'm not tied into my gun permanently. Uh, same thing with the um, PRS Heavy. The snap shackle is specifically designed to release under tremendous amounts of load more than you ever should put on the sling, but it'll take it, and so will the sling. Um, routing. Uh, like I said, obviously this is a gas gun that's being used as a, uh, as a precision gun, so I'm gonna route this exactly like I would on the carbine. I like going from the strong side rear to the support side front. Um, the one little problem with that is when you actually go to clip in, particularly with the waist, is, and I will go ahead and demonstrate that. When I go to put a little bit of pressure on it, you're going to see it kind of makes the, uh, the gun cant a little bit because it's coming off from the 9 o'clock. Um, most of its life, it's going to be in the carbine uh, layout so I want it at that nine o'clock. If I'm actually going to be able to clip in and be stationary for a while, I'm going to go ahead and use my QD. I'm going to disconnect it from the nine and I'm going to put it into the six o'clock. That way it's pulling center line and it's much more stable and it's not going to be pulling one side or the other. Obviously not something you're going to be able to do everywhere. Um, whether you're a hunter or a SWAT sniper or a military sniper, um, if you're in a tree stand, if you're a SWAT sniper watching over a bank robbery, you're not going to be moving around a whole lot. If I'm back in Iraq in 07 and we took over Habib's house and we're watching Route Michigan, waiting for some placer to get his head canoed, uh, we're going to have a long time. We can sit there, we can plug and play and move things around and we can make a really stable position and wait for that perfect shot. Likewise, if I'm putting on a drive hunting, if I'm be bopping through the poppy fields in Afghanistan and I only have two second exposures, or I'm moving around as a SWAT cop, I'm not gonna have the time to move that stuff around and so I'm gonna need to keep it in that carbine configuration. And so just knowing how this works and playing around with it uh, and understanding triangulation and really uh, let creativity be your guide, test it out, see what physics actually says works, and applies what works. Um, that's pretty much the sling, that's the routing. Uh, there are some add-ons, uh, just like the carbine sling. We have the uh, sling pad add-on, uh, which basically you're going to slide the sling in underneath uh, the squadron material, and that's going to allow that girth adjustment to still be functional, and so the entire pad will move around with that girth adjustment. Uh, this is not molly, please do not molly stuff on there, mo molly, mo problems. But the one little caveat is we have these little uh, uh, game stalker ammo caddies, so you can clip that in. So if you need a couple extra rounds because you're hunting something with four legs, cool beans, you need more rounds, got the combat wombat for that. Um, two legs, more rounds. There's a joke somewhere in there. Either which way, uh, whatever your mission is, whatever your needs are, come to ourarmsusa.com, see what we have, learn a little bit more about it, and get what you need for your mission.